What happens when you shake a cup of water? Well, of course, the water comes splashing out of the cup. But why does water come splashing out? Some will think that the water came out of the cup because of the shaking. But another way to think of it is that water came out of the cup because water is what was in the cup. Whatever is in the cup is what's going to come out of the cup when it is shaken. Christianity does not completely remove the tremors and valleys and fights and bumps in the road in your life, the shakings. The world around you is going to shake you. The question is, what's going to come out of you when you are shaking? Will it be fear, impatience, malice, laziness, apathy? Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. We're in Judges chapter 4 where it is a time of shaking and testing and discipline for the people of God. So what is going to happen to Israel? Will Israel be saved? Who will come to their rescue? Who will be the judge that is raised up at this time? Listen to what it says in Judges chapter 4 verse 4. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was judging Israel at the time. She used to sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the people of Israel came up to her for judgment. Deborah is a type of judge in Israel who would hear a dispute and then would shine the light of God's word on the situation. She would make wise rulings over whatever personal conflicts arose. Or if you had a situation in which you wanted some advice, you would go to a judge like Deborah, and they would subject your situation to the word of God. Judges of these types were scattered all over Israelite territory so that you were never very far from a biblical counselor. But here's the issue. In Hebrew, names denote character and tasks. And it was Deborah's husband who was to be a light. His name means lamp. He apparently doesn't live out his calling or to the character his name represents. You may say, well, Cliff, this is minor, and it seems like you're stretching the text a bit. But stay with me here. Deborah does her judging and her prophesying in the hill country of Ephraim, underneath a palm tree. You can kind of picture it in your head, can't you? The idea of setting up underneath a palm tree is the idea of rest and oasis and growth. And Deborah's name means honey. So Deborah is an oasis, a place of comfort and rest and sweetness and growth for the people of Israel. So praise God. But this is where the story gets good and the plot thickens. People usually came to her. That's what the text said. But here in this text, she sent for a man named Barak. He lived far north from her in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali. Barak. His name means lightning, so surely he is going to strike like lightning against Sisera. What a battle that's about to unfold. So what has the Lord asked, or better yet, commanded of Barak? Well, he has commanded him to gather up an army, and God will draw out the enemy, and God will deliver the enemy into Israel's hand. And here's the key. God says, I will. He says it twice, I will draw him out. I will give him into your hand. God is promising Barak supernatural victory over Sisera by God's power. I will do this. You just gather up the army and follow me. So what does Barak say to all of this? Well, he says nothing. He does nothing. He is not like lightning. And when Deborah calls for him and confronts him about this, What does he say? Well, the text goes on to say that Barak says to Deborah, I will go and do this thing that God has commanded me to do, but only if you go with me. What a man, right? What a hero. What a fighter. What a warrior. Every woman wants a man like Barak, right? Honey, could you go check to see what that scary noise was? And Deborah says, yes, I will go with you, but you will not receive honor for the victory. Instead, it will be a woman who delivers the deciding blow against the enemy. And herein lies one of the problems of Israel. Hesitant, fearful, timid men. When they are shaken, fear and inaction come spilling out. So my question is for the men today. Men, 
Look over the past few weeks, over the past few months of your life, and ask yourself, what has spilled out of your life when the storms of life have rattled the windows? Is it anger, impatience, fear, withdrawal? Or are you listening to the words of God who goes with us into every battle as we walk with Him day by day? Today, when you pray, please pray for John Regueres, our missionary in Portugal. And also, remember the Wo Karin Life Word broadcast in Burma. Mm-hmm.